Hello, this is video entry 4 in the Duo Elite construction vlog. I have much better lighting today because it's uh, daylight outside. Uh, so you'll be able to see more detail on the computer. Um, but the good news is that I have got the three chips installed that I didn't have last time. The addition chip, the AND gate, and the um, comparison chip. So now the computer can perform addition commands and comparison commands. Um, and this actually means that the computer is complete now. The processor is all done and wired up. Uh, but I just need to attach a front panel to it. I received several switches in the mail. I'll show you what they look like. One second. Here's a switch. You can toggle back and forth. Like that. <coughs> and I also have some buttons over there too but they're not very exciting. They're just buttons. Um, and also, I've been trying to order an 8x8 LED matrix, but uh, Mouser is out of stock. Mouser is the place I normally order my electronics from. And I tried to order them off eBay, but uh, the vendor uh, refunded the order complaining that there was a quality problem or something. But anyway, um, so I wrote another program into the ROM of the computer, and this program has five commands. Um, the first command accepts input from the buttons and stores it in the RAM. Then the second command will increment that data in the RAM by one. The third command compares that data in the RAM with the number um, three, or actually four, but um, the fourth command will output the number in RAM only if it is uh, only if the last comparison was true, and then the last command repeats the cycle. It's a go to zero zero command. So I'll turn on the computer and show you how the program works. The computer is on, and now the computer is running. The blinking LEDs, as you may recall, show that the commands are being executed. Um, and remember that this is the input LEDs and this is the set of output LEDs. Um, so what the program will do is it will accept input and then if the input is greater than 3, it will output that input plus 1. So if I output a 4, it should output a 5 because 4 is greater than 3 and then it will add 1 to 3. Uh, no, it will add 1 to 4 and then output a 5. So in binary, that's 1 plus 4, which is 5. There's the 4, and that's the 5. And if I, add, uh, if I input a 5, it'll output a 6, because 5 plus 1 is 6. So there's our 5, and then our output is 6. However, if I enter a number that is less than or equal to 3, for example, a 1, it ignores that because the input is uh, not greater than 3. I can enter 3 itself, it doesn't do anything. I can enter 2, but as soon as I enter a number that's greater than 3, for example 4, it'll output the input plus 1. I can also output, uh, I can input 8, then it gives 9. I can input 9, there's 10. I can input, um, let's see, 1 plus 2 plus 8, 11. And then it will give uh, 12. And so that's just an example of a program that uses the two, uh, two of the new commands that I've added to the machine. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully next time I'll have the, uh, at least the front panel done so I can program the machine more easily and not rely on rewiring the machine to program it. Uh, <clears throat> and if you're lucky, I'll also have the display, which would be nice because you'll be able to see the full potential of the machine.